Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon the master of martyrs and peace be upon you adorers. Welcome to Shia Waves. I'm your anchor Ali Jassim here to present and replenish your minds with the latest Shia world news. And now with the headlines. Al Abbas Holy Shrine to write a specialized encyclopedia about Al Abbas. Peace be upon him. Conference on Shiism planned in Osnabrück. India bans mosque loudspeakers in Adan. The Studies and Writing Unit, which belongs to the Intellectual and Cultural Department of Al Abbas Holy Shrine, has set about writing a specialized encyclopedia containing what is written about Amal Abbas, peace be upon him, whether it was poetry or prose, along with other related subjects. The director of the unit said that the staffs of the unit are collecting Arabic poems that were written about Al Abbas, peace be upon him, along with collecting articles that were written in some magazines and newspapers of the 40s and 50s of last century. The encyclopedia will also include an appendix for Arabic books that were written about him, peace be upon him along with narrating his blessed biography, mentioning the names of those who were privileged to be buried inside his holy shrine and those who led the congregational prayers. Iraq Television Network said the terrorists of the so-called Islamic State in Iraq and Levant, the ISIL, have demolished the holy site of Lady Zaina, peace be upon her, in Sinjar County, west of the Iraqi city of Mosul. Takfiri ISIL terrorists have blown up a number of shrines in the city of Mosul, including the shrines of Prophet Seth, Prophet Yonis, along with destroying a number of mosques and Husseiniyas. About 70,000 Shiite refugees from the Talafar district southwest of Mosul have been transferred to Baghdad and other Shiite majority cities in southern Iraq through Elbir airport. Thousands of Shiite refugees from Mosul and neighboring regions were flown out of Erbil to Iraqi capital Baghdad and other cities like Karbala and Najaf in southern Iraq due to the Takfiri attacks carried out by ISIL terrorists. The Iraqi security forces killed the so-called Wali, Caliph of south of Baghdad, Naishan al-Jahayshi, and eight of his followers in an airstrike south of Baghdad. A security source said in a press statement that the army aviation targeted deserted houses turned by the ISIL to secret nests for them and planted for making bombs and IEDs in Sayyid Abdullah region south of Baghdad, as well as the destruction of large plant of rockets and mortar rounds. A Kuwaiti member of the parliament has called on ending the ban of Shiite mosques which are restricted in Sunni Muslim majority country. A recent US State Department report criticized the country's poor level of freedom of religion and worship, including the incitement of discrimination against non-Sunni Muslims. Member of the parliament Saleh Ashur said the country was far behind in religious and sectarian tolerance. Alama Arif Wahidi, the secretary general of the Pak Shiite Ulama Council, has said that the Pakistani government failed to stop the Shiite genocide. Condemning the targeted murders of innocent Shiite youths on the day of Eid, he said, Takfiri terrorists were free and continued killings. Shiite ulama council also contacted the relatives of two Shiite martyrs of Quetta and conveyed to them their condolence. A two-day conference on Shiism will be held on September 29th and 30th in Osnabrück city of Germany. According to news sources, the conference has been planned by the Theology Faculty of Osnabrück University. The program aims to introduce Shiism, principles of Shiite beliefs and theology, as well as Shiite teachings and necessary information needed to interact with Shiite Muslims will be discussed at the conference. A ban on using loudspeakers during Muslims' Adhan, or call to prayers, has been raising controversies among Mumbai Muslim leaders amid arguments that mosques are using illegal loudspeakers. With some justifying the ban, the decision has awakened many Muslims who gathered in New Mumbai under the banner of Muslim Ekta Forum, deciding to approach the court against the rule that says that loudspeakers should not be used between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Pro Adan's ban claimed that the Muslim call to prayer at dawn disturbs people of other faiths. We have reached the end of our new show. Thank you all for joining in with us. And as always, remember our dua to hasten the reappearance of our beloved Mal Mahdi, peace be upon him. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.